Now inside the engine bay on the 350Z and G35 swap harnesses, there is a trio of connectors, both in the 350Z and G35. These three connectors are located near the battery on these cars. Um, they're F1, F2, and F3. Now these connectors are much easier to depin than the F102 that's inside the car. Um, the F1 connector is where you would start. And if you look, there's this white plastic connector on the inside of this gray housing. Um, some cars, this will be light gray, some will be dark gray, but it's the same connector regardless. And you can use your pick tool to actually pry out this white retainer. This retainer is what prevents any of these pins from accidentally pulling out of this connector. And then what you can do, if you look inside closely, there are some retaining clips that are holding these terminals in. And you simply pry down on one of the retaining clips and the wire will pull out the back side. Now if you notice, these wires have seals on them because these connectors are in the engine bay, they're weather sealed. And um, to install the wires, you simply just press it back into the back side of the connector. Um, in some instances, you may need to use your pick tool to help press that seal into the back side of the connector, but you'll hear it clip into place. Once you've pinned all the wires correctly, you put the retainer piece that you popped out in the beginning back in and you're good to go. The exact same method is used on the F2 and the F3 connector, even though they look different. Same thing, this retainer clip pries out of the center on the F3, and there's clips inside holding them in place. Now again, because the way this conversion works in these cars, there are more wires in these connectors on the factory harness than there are once the engine is LS swapped. Um, that's because a lot of the functionality and power that was coming through this harness from the factory fuse center in the car is now retained in the actual swap harness fuse and relay center. So a lot of those wires are no longer used. We don't rely on the factory wiring for supplying power to the critical engine components. All of that's built into the harness for reliability sake and for ease of diagnosing issues. So that's why some of these terminals aren't used. Um, even though these three connectors are the same between a G35 and a 350Z and are in the same spot in the engine bay in a G35 or a 350Z, the wires are not all in the same locations on both cars. You can't swap harnesses. You have to, um, if it's a 350Z, the pins will be in a different location than if it's a G35. And that's why when we sell this harness, we don't supply these connectors already pre-pinned in any locations. You reuse the connectors from your harness and you put the wires in the correct spot if your car is a G35 or if it's a 350 Z. And again, that's covered in the instructions. So that's how you deep in and repin these connectors. That's why they're set up the way they are. And uh, that's about it. Thank you.